In this special lesson, I'm going to be showing you how you can use any one of my combinations and put it into pretty much any piece of music so you can use it in your own dancing. Hi, if you follow my channel, and why wouldn't you? then you'll know that I teach a lot of combinations and they're always over 32 counts and there's a very good reason for that. A 32 count combination will fit into pretty much any piece of music. The reason for that is that music is very mathematically created and it's typically created, particularly um, Arab music, is created over counts of four. And multiples of four, obviously, can build up to 32 counts. Well, 32 counts is a multiple of four. And 32 counts is very often a, um, a, a phrase in emergency, for example, or a verse in a pop song, or, um, or a chorus in a pop song. And you'll find, and you, we're going to see this today, it's a magical thing. You can... Put a 32 count combination into pretty much every piece of music. Now you may need to add a little bit extra at the end because sometimes a piece of music will have a phrase, it'll be over 32 counts and then there'll be a little bit extra. So you might need to add a little bit of extra in there, but you can always, you will always, always be able to use one of my combinations in some way in your own dancing and in your own favorite pieces of music. 32 count combination is also split up into two 16s and my combinations are always split up into two sections. A 16 section and another 16 section. So if you only want to take a piece of it, you just want to take the first half or the second half, that will fit into, a, in, into your piece of music as well. And I really, really want people to use and to, to benefit from the stuff that I teach. That's why it's there. And of course, if you're a teacher, remember, please feel free to use any of my combinations, any of my teaching, any of the theories or the things that I teach, please, please feel free to share it with your own students um, and you don't have to credit me, it's okay. Right, now I have taught two combinations recently. One is a nice little sharp, funky combination that is based around four different kinds of hip drops. And the other one is a smooth, sensual combination that I created to be danced in a small space. And you can find both of those um, combinations in my belly dance classes playlist, and I'll put them, um, I'll put links to them at the bottom. Let's look at the very, very first one. It is four different kinds of hip drops. And we started off with drop, kick, plie, kick, a step, touch, step, touch. Hip comes up, drop, drop drop, drop, I step back, and I roll down. I'm not going to teach it now, just um, I'll put a link up now so that you can go and have a look at it if you want to. I'm just going to show you how it fits into lots of different pieces of music. That was my first 16, so if you wanted to just use a bit of it, that's the first 16. Drop, kick, plie, kick, step, touch, step, touch, hip drop in, hip drop in, step back, roll down, release. So that was three different kinds of hip drops there. Then the second half was drop, kick, go back, lift. And then we did Hagala step forward and back, forward and back. Then we did a grapevine, or what I call a pas de pare, and we turned round to here to do it on the other side. I'm going to show you the counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second lot of eight, the second lot of 16 goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this was just a little fun combination that's just got a lot of hips going in, into it and we danced it through to a nice little sort of shabby kind of track um, called La La. 
um, which we'll do in a second, and I'll also show it in, another, in, in some more pieces of music. So let's just do it one more time all the way through. I'm going to count four sets of eight, so that's 32. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That business of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three is a very useful way of learning how to count music. It tells you where you are in a particular piece of music, where you are in your phrase. Very, very good way, good habit to get into. Let's put on the piece of music that I used in the, um, in the original video and we'll dance it through. Here we go. a bit of Amadiab. I love Amadiab. Nice bit of Amadiab pop music. This is Royal B. Here we go. And... <laughs> into the chorus and the verse. Can you see how, if you look back over it, you'll notice that the whole of the combination fitted perfectly into both the chorus and the verse, and that's because it's all constructed around the magical 32 counts. But you may be thinking, well, that's all very well for pop music, but what about something that's a little bit more, a um, bit more classical? So, I have lined up for you Anna Bastanak. How about that? It works on everything. Now, let me just remind you that there will be times when it won't quite fit. You might have to put a little bit extra, a couple of moves on the end, or you may just need to, don't normally have to cut anything out, but sometimes there'll be a, a few counts on the end and you just have to put um, your own little moves in there or do a little weight or a little bit of wriggle or whatever, but you can always use my, my 32 counts somewhere. 
Do feel free to ask me any questions, but just pop them in the comments boxes below and I promise to answer you. So if you've got any questions or anything that you're not sure of, just let me know and I will come back to you. Remember, you can use anything that I teach in your own classes, if you're a teacher, and of course, definitely in your own combinations. And I bring out a new video every week, a new lesson every week, and more as well in between. So every Friday, you'll get a new lesson in your inbox if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you want to hang around and see a completely different combination, dance through to um, three different pieces of music, they're on their way now. So I also taught a smooth combination to be used in a small space. And this is one I said that you could use if you dance in a restaurant or if you're dancing in a small home or something, you know, if you're dancing at a party and you don't have much space, this is a great little combination because it is nice and, and small. So check it out. It's called, um, oh, I think it's called Smooth Sensual Combination for a Small Space. And I'll put a link to it now. Okay, we're going to do two circles to the right, two circles to the left. A big hip circle with a twist coming up. A Kenya, which I teach in that video, and another Kenya. Then we're going to go round in camels. And then we do hip drops, drop, two, three, four, step, touch, and in. Let's just try this through to a few pieces of music. Let's do a bit of ruby, ebba. Edda Elevni, I can never say this one either. I really should learn to pronounce Arabic better. So here's our smooth sensual combo to Ruby. Different arm. Let's try it through to another piece of music. Do you know what? Let's try it through to Anna Bastanak. So there we have the power and the magic of the 32 count combination and how it can fit into pretty much any piece of music, particularly if there's a chorus or a verse there. Now I teach, as well as on YouTube, I teach loads of classes in my online membership belly dance school. It's called Undeniables Online and you can find out all about it by following the link below. I've put a link below and you can come and join me in online classes, live classes on Zoom and we have a fantastic community. So do come and join me and you will learn so much. I've got ballad, I'm teaching ballady, veil, um, lots of intermediate classes, advanced classes, teaching rhythms, how to choreograph. There's so much on there and it's a really, really affordable monthly fee. So have a look at the, um, at the link below and go and have a look at the uh, site and I hope to see you there.